guys, this is Dr. Link 3710. With my fourth walkthrough part. The Wind Waker. Just get it started here. I'm already on the ship. Once you get the shield, which we got in the third part, uh, you can head on onto the ship. We're gonna do a quick little mini game to get the spoils bag. And if you're still on Outside Island, I forgot to do this. I'd recommend getting the bait bag from Beetle. I'm gonna go. You can if you forgot just to do it on Windfall Island. I'm pretty sure Beetle is there too. So he's gonna step on that switch. Then you're gonna need to jump from platform to platform and swing across from on the lights from the different platforms to reach. You are timed on this. If you're, you run out of time, the platforms will go back down. You might not get this on your first try. I might not either. I haven't played this game in like a month or two. But yeah. Yes. In this video, we'll probably reach the entrance of the mini dungeon. I cannot imagine why we wouldn't be able to. Take you at least one year. He's exaggerating. One rough year, one tough year. Sure. I'd recommend putting them down. Jumping on this switch. So your time restarts and you'll have more time to do this. It's completely optional. This is He didn't think you'd actually make it across, so he thought it was okay to say that hey, you made it across, but he's gonna give you treasure. Which will be the spoils bag. Good to keep out of the saying with those Knight's Crest in earlier videos. Um, uh, this is where you'll keep all of your treasures, stuff like that, such as like cute jelly, Knight's Crest, etc. There's little butterfly medallion jewel things, I don't know. That sounds like his little sister to me, but someone's calling him back here. And it obviously cannot be her. I'm pretty sure it's Tetra, because we're laughing at the Forsaken Fortress. Did she call you up here? Probably not. She called you from a higher platform, probably the other one. I don't know. He's still going up here. Yeah, it was this one. She 
just accusing you of playing stupid games for treasure with Nico. How offensive. Because you obviously didn't. Once we arrive at the Forsaken Fortress, I'm going to go ahead and stop the video. Here's your homework pin, and your little sister is at the top there. And it is the place where you got your sister locked up. Link in a barrel, and of course he's freaking out. They just don't want to keep him on his ship. He's so scared of it. This mini dungeon really isn't that hard. Avoiding the moblins is a bit of a challenge, but you can, if you take the right path, you can completely avoid the moblins without even them. Uh, if you fall, you are going to have to go through. Or just head back. But they're going to continuously send you back to the same place if you got caught by a moblin. And you do not have a sword in this game. Yeah. It's kind of like how in Ocarina of Time they, if you get caught in the Gerudo Fortress. They send you back to that old jail cell. Same here. You just need to move some parts and fall out. Second fortress. You will be returning here with a sword. Which I forget the sword you get. I'm pretty sure it's the master sword you have by the fourth dun fourth fourth dungeon. Okay. I'm not going to start this, I will start it later today. So, of course there's a little stone in your pocket talking to you, which is someone just telling you what you're doing and everything, quest status, and everything. They slipped it in your pocket when they were putting you in the barrel. We're going to save once you get here, if you want to. Go ahead and go. Okay. Bye guys.